The oh, Matrix? The Matrix. The Matrix. So the Matrix is uh, there. Do you feel like the Matrix is hyped up using media? Do you think the Matrix is just full of shit and they're just fear-based? Oh, they're absolutely fear-based. Yo, what's up, Truth Seekers? Back on Grid Hustler, and today we're diving headfirst into the rabbit hole. We're talking Andrew Tate, conspiracies, and this idea of the Matrix that keeps popping up. But first, let's get real. What the heck is it? So what are what 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 is your goal? If you had to fight, like you are fighting, and you're banned from what what are you banned from? Like, Everything. The Matrix. There is a global culture that has been forced down on the throats of everyone on the face of the earth. This global culture is protected and promoted. Thomas Friedman, an American commentator, says, The hidden hand of the market cannot survive without a hidden fist. I got banned because I became monumentally popular. I became hugely successful. I became the most Googled person on the planet. And then they make up a reason to get rid of you. I'm banned on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, SoundCloud, Uber, Airbnb, Gmail, WhatsApp. You can't get an Uber? I can't get an Uber, no. Gmail, WhatsApp, you name, you name an application. All for standing up for what you believe in. Well, yeah. Okay, so some folks like Andrew Tate talk about the Matrix like it's some deep state mind control thing. But here's the thing. I think we're all kind of brainwashed already. Society, media, heck, even our families. They all feed us these ideas and programs that shape our lives, often without us even noticing. It's like we're walking around in this mental zoo, blissfully unaware of the bars. Let's break down how this whole brainwashing thing works and how we can start surviving in this dark forest. First rule of surviving the matrix, ditch the right and wrong binary. Morality, virtue, these things are like chameleons, changing colors depending on who's in charge. One country's hero is another's terrorist, right? We're all potential criminals under some law or another. So, yeah, maybe it's time to rethink this whole good versus evil thing. Second rule. Buckle up. It's a jungle out there. This dark forest we're in? Billions of dollars swirling around. Hidden hands pulling the strings. Institutions, businesses... Even the products we buy, they're all fueled by this shadow economy. Trust becomes a rare commodity, especially when you see what's behind the curtain in social media and the news. So, society tells us that hard work is the golden ticket to success. But here's the truth bomb. It's kind of BS. Look at billionaires chilling on yachts, sipping Mai Tais. They ain't exactly breaking their backs, are they? It's time to shift our focus to working smart, questioning the nine to five grind, and maybe even building a life that doesn't revolve around spreadsheets and fluorescent lights. Speaking of success, let's redefine that, shall we? Society's version is basically becoming a well-paid, well-behaved cog in the machine. But what if true success is something else? Something that challenges the script makes us question everything, and maybe even pisses off a few people along the way. It's time to break free from these pre-programmed definitions and build our own versions of success. Do you want to know what it is? The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. There's no turning back. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Here's the tricky part. Choosing the red pill path can be lonely. You might find yourself questioning everything, stepping outside the lines, and feeling disconnected from the crowd who's still happily plugged into the Matrix. It's a challenging journey. But remember, you're not alone. There's a whole community of truth seekers out there. And hey, maybe that solitude is just the price of freedom. So, what do you think? Is society the matrix? Are we all just sleepwalking through life? 
And most importantly, are you ready to unplug? Share your thoughts in the comments.